morning drink is today is the 21st Thursday. Today's scripture comes from Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 through 25. Do not think I have come to get rid of what is written in the law or in the prophets. I have come to fulfill what is written. Do not ignore even one of the least important commands and do not teach others to ignore them. Instead, practice and teach these commands. Then you will be called important in the kingdom of heaven. You must be more godly than the Pharisees. If you are not, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. People who lived long ago were told, Do not commit murder. But there is what I tell you. Do not be angry with a brother or a sister. And anyone who says, You fool, will be in danger of the fire and hell. Suppose... You're offering your gift at the altar, and you remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Leave your gift. First, go and make peace with them. Then come back and offer your gift. Suppose someone has a claim against you. Settle the matter quickly. If you don't, you may be handed over to the judge. The judge may hand you over to the officer to be thrown into prison. Amen. All right, joy kids, um, go and meditate and come back. All right, welcome back. All right, so today's title is Fulfilling the Law. And today, uh, you know, Jesus in the scripture says that he didn't come to get rid of what is written in the law or in the prophets, but to fulfill what is written. And what does that mean? Or what did Jesus do? And what is something that Jesus told us to do? And one most important thing is that God tells us to love God and love others. And those that is actually the most important law. That's what God says and through Jesus. Right? But what do you mean by fulfilling what is written? So, you know, in the Old Testament, before Jesus came, God gave many laws to Israelites. In the book of Old Testament, before Jesus came to this earth, God tells us how to worship, how to sacrifice animals, and God reminds Israelites exactly how to live. Or what is right and what is wrong. And many of the laws that God makes or reminds Israel is in order to f- protect the weak, protect people with less money and less power. Some of the laws, for example, eye for an eye, right? It sounds very harsh, hard, and it seems like God doesn't love. But if we look at what was happening during that time was that people with more money and more power are not acting fairly. And what does that mean? It's like this. Let's say you have an older brother with a lot of muscle and big body and bigger than you and stronger than you. Let's say you hit your brother once. And what do you think will happen after that? Of course, the bigger and older and stronger brother will try to hit you like 10 times, right? So in order to protect you, the weaker one, your parents sets a law in the household saying that if you get punched once, you can only punch once back. That is set at household to protect the weaker and the lesser and you know lesser in power right and that was kind of the laws that God um, gave the Israelites to follow and more than that there were many other laws but when Jesus came down on this earth he fulfilled the law by showing that love is the most important thing. 
and he acted that way and he showed his love by dying on the cross and you know that's something that we need to remember that all the laws are there but most importantly laws were uh, loving others is the most important thing that we need to do and you know during that time before Jesus came, people were starting to make laws to live a better life. But they were forgetting the most important thing, and that was to love others. Right? So Jesus wanted to remind all the leaders and all the people who believe in Jesus that love is the most important thing. And, you know, there are so many other, uh, there were basically three types of laws that we can look into. And that is like moral law, civil law, and ceremonial law. And, you know, there, most of the laws we still need to fulfill. But, you know, such laws as ceremonial law was only just for um, Israelites, For example, how to sacrifice a lamb or a goat. And so we no longer have to do that because Jesus died in place of all the sacrifices that were necessary. When Israelites lived according to the laws, they tried their best to follow the laws. As Christians, and if we love Jesus, we will do try to live a better life and better life meaning we're going to try to live with love showing love to others people and at the same time doing more than what the law says Um, it's like this let's say your parents tells you to come back home at night before 8 p.m when we were young we would try to come back at 7.59 or exactly at 8 so that we don't get in trouble with your parents or so that you don't get grounded. But when we love our parents and when we mature, we're going to try to come home way before 8 p.m. because we don't want our parents to be worried. And so as we love, if we do try to love um then we'll do more than and better than what the law states. Is that correct? Right. So if we love Jesus, we'll do our best to do everything that God wants us to do, right? We're not going to just try to follow the laws because we're scared that we will not go to heaven or be punished. But we will try to do more than that because we love Jesus. And that's why... Um, it means by Jesus fulfilled the laws. And so I want you to all remember that right? as Christians, we need to follow the laws of this country. Every laws better than anyone else. We need to try our best to follow the laws as long as it doesn't go against what God wants us to do. And we need to do our best to Do more than moral laws or the common sense laws. Like, for example, common sense meaning, do you think it's okay to hit someone? No, it's in our common sense. We know that that is bad, right? So as Christians, we're going to try to love others and we'll try to live a godly life than anyone else, more than the law. So we surpassed the law, right? So remember that. So let me close close today with the potter's will. It says, Jesus says he has come to fulfill what was written in the Old Testament. He tells them they need to be godlier than the Pharisees. Jesus gives examples of what this means, such as being angry at someone in a hateful manner It's like murdering someone. Also, if someone has something against another, they should try and make peace with each other as soon as possible.
read the prayer. God, you are worthy of my full obedience. There are no commandments that are more or less important in your sight. Help me to follow and obey your commandments from my heart. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much. Lord, guide us every day so we can love you and love others. And help us to live in you every day. Lord, I want to bless all the joy kiss. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.